Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Snowbreak Containment Zone video. And today we're just going to be taking a look at the official CN tier list. By the way, if you happen to like the content, just leave a like and subscribe. So this tier list is from CN. I don't know the exact website this was from since it's a CN website and I have no idea what any of this says. I got this image from 4chan. So, you know, I mean, this image does look believable enough. I mean, it's written in Chinese it's got all the characters and shit so we'll be analyzing this tier list and see what the CN players think and I kind of agree with this tier list I you know I haven't used every character but I mean I can kind of see why they chose who they chose so on triple s we got Yao and both of the Akasias in the same tier now yao is probably one of the best damage dealer in the game and she's a standard character you can also pick her up for free so she's very good at what she does she's also a sniper so she can basically you know snipe enemies from a distance take care of enemies from a distance she's basically got your back she's a very good dps if you're still thinking about who to choose from the pick your free five star if you want a brain dead answer just pick yao now, Kaguya Acacia, I've in my last Acacia video, I basically explained that she's one of the best supports in the game, and that's probably why she's triple S, because she really is. She can decrease the enemy's elemental resistance, she can slow them down, providing some crowd control. She can freeze them, you know, she's just very good, right? You can basically put her on any team, any universal team, and you know, it'll just work next we got her four star version now it's pretty interesting to see her four star version like this high up when i played her in the beta i was kind of like slightly disappointed in her but i mean after playing her for a little bit in the actual release i i mean i can kind of understand why she's triple s her standard skill can hit any enemy on the field basically that's like in her point of view her burst can freeze time for a bit so it's kind of like the you know the zawarado right i don't even know what else i can really say i her support skill can i think it can slow down the enemy so that's pretty good too slowing down enemies both acacias can basically slow down enemies in some way so that's probably why they're triple s and i think i can agree with that next we got double s second best characters we got wild hunt life Wild Hunt's Life is a pretty excellent AoE character. She can freeze enemies with her support skill. I think she can also freeze them with her standard skill with Neuronix. She just has generally very good AoE and that's kind of why she's really high in this tier list. Next, we got the four star Fridia, which is pretty interesting. Now, she does have a form of crowd control, I believe. And I think that's kind of why she's high on the tier list. I mean, I can't really see what else crowd controlling is pretty important since you're going to be dealing with so many fucking enemies in the game having some form of crowd control will be pretty handy and then next we got um damn sorry it's been a long day we got uh <laughs> fenny four star fenny who is higher than the five star version now both of these characters kind of do different things now the four star version is basically like another form of crowd control and she can also interrupt the enemy while the five star version is a support she basically her support skill basically speeds up your shots which is pretty neat anyways the four star version is a little bit higher than her five star because i do think that she does have a little bit more utility for herself i do believe she gets a shield and i think she gets like damage reduction through her neuronics i could be wrong but her form of crowd control is just really good. So, you know, it's very excellent. And then next we got the four star Marion. Now, I might be missing something here because wait, is that the four star? No, that's a five star. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. That's a five star version. I'm tripping. I was about to say, like, what the why is the four star version this high? No, this is the this is the five star version. Now, I don't even know what else to say. She's a sniper. She can take out enemies from a distance, which is very good. I don't even know what else to say right if you you know she's lower than she's a lower tier than yao but you know she still gets the job done i don't think she's as like excellent as yao but she's still very good in her own right oh yeah the five star marion also has pretty good 
utilities with her kit like she can you know she her standard skill has like a, a taunt which is pretty nice which gives her more distance to snipe up enemies and i do believe her ultimate basically like automatically hits an enemy's weak point so that's pretty good as well next we got the s rank which is like the third best characters we got wild hunt life oh no not wild hunt life i'm tripping we got the four star life wednesday life yeah living the wednesday life um i do think she's basically like the four star version of her five star version they're both really not that different from one another right they can both like stun enemies they both have really good aoe so her being an s is not that surprising next we got um damn i honestly don't remember her name i think her name was like shikshing or something but from what i know about her she's basically like the yai miko in this game she can set up totems and she is also a healer that's basically all she does i can't i mean i don't really know what else she does i don't even think i have this character at all she was not in the beta so she is relatively new next we got um shit what was her name god damn it all right so i had to log into the game just <laughs> just to find out who she was this is maxar and she's basically a frost main dps i played her in the beta and i was kind of disappointed in her not because of her damage but because i just thought she was just very boring to play but she's basically just a frost dps that just deals a shit ton of damage i do believe she has to stay on the field in order for her um her standard skill it basically like takes like the soul out of the enemy not, not the soul but like the id or ego or whatever and you know it basically like deals damage to the enemy and shit and her support skill can also deal aoe damage to enemies i believe through neuronics and her ultimate is pretty strange because it does change on depending on how much hp the enemy has if the hp of the enemy is very higher or higher than maxers then it'll uh i think it'll just deal a shit ton of damage but if the hp is lower her bullets will just deal more damage she basically gets like an attack boost for like 10 or 5 seconds or something so yeah i mean i think she's just a very good frost main dps that's basically all she does now next on the s tier rank is the five star of fridia now i have no idea what she does i don't have her and she was not in the beta so i don't have a clue on what she does i think she is a shielder i think i don't remember what she does but it is pretty odd to see that her five star version is lower than her four star version i guess the five star version isn't really all that like doesn't really have that much utility i guess maybe but it is pretty interesting to see like a five star version of a character being like a lower tier than the four star version that is pretty odd all right next we got the a team right we got i do believe that's nita i played her in the beta she was pretty boring she is a melee character through her standard skill i mean i don't even know what else to say about her right i mean her gameplay is just boring next we got the four star yao which is a healer that's all she does is she heals i don't really think she like has as much utility as Chixing, since Chixing does like deal a lot of damage, while Four Star Yao is just a generic healer. She's just basically there to heal your team. Next, we got Haru. Now, from what I know from what other people are saying, I do believe her kit is basically like an all support. People tried to main DPS her, but her kit is basically revolved around supporting other characters. Her passive is basically whenever she's off field, her skill damage will be increased. So she does have to be like off field pretty often. So having her as a main DPS is pretty difficult and using her in co-op is going to be kind of a pain since you cannot switch out in co-op. So that's probably why she's in A, right? Because she doesn't really do that much at all. And we have better supports like Fenny and Haru, or not Haru. <laughs> and acacia so that's probably why she's an a next we got the four star version of marion now her four star version i don't think is really all that different from her like five star version though granted her five star version is more superior since she deals more damage 
her four star version is basically like the same thing her standard skill lets her escape from enemies so she can snipe more often and her support and her ultimate is basically like the same thing as her five star i think but just just less amount of damage that you would that she will uh deal so last up we got the the b tier which are the lowest tier characters we got i think this is cherno from what i remember she basically like summons a stand and shit and that's all she really does and then we got Enya big sis Enya it's kind of a shame to see her this low because she is like one of my favorite characters but to be honest I don't even remember what she does even though I've been using her a lot I think um her standard skill is kind of unreliable because she basically summons like a bunch of bombs and shit but since they bounce around and like move around sometimes they'll like blow up like when they don't need to blow up you know what i mean like her standard skill isn't really all that reliable it's so like it's only very good if you're fighting like in a very closed room or like in a hallway a very tight hallway that's when her standard skill shines the best but since they basically go all over the place sometimes they don't even hit the enemy and kind of sucks and her ultimate basically summons like some mechanical snake that just deals damage to the enemies i mean both of these kits are not very memorable right i mean they're you know they're they're b tier for a reason right they're you kind of forget that they're there and that's it so overall i can agree with this tier list i think it's pretty fair in my opinion and that's basically all i really have to say about it let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with this tier list? Do you disagree with this tier list? Is there anyone that actually disagrees with this? Do you think characters should be higher or lower than they should be? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now. Come again soon.